what control sounds like on Obsessive Loop. Why doesn't he want to be with me? Is he into that other girl? Did I do something wrong? He's intimidated by me. Well, he said that, but is that what he meant? Maybe I'm misinterpreting what he meant. Am I just into him because he's not into me? I came on too strong. But like, how do I really feel? But then why would he have said that? Did I just misread everything? What's his sign? That'll Jesus Christ, what is going on, Warband? It is Taylor the Fiend back again with another response video, and today we're looking at a video request through the Patreon titled, How to Let Go When He Doesn't Like or Love You Back. But before we crack into it, guys, if you're new here, you're liking the videos, be sure to subscribe on your way in. Come and join the Discord if you haven't already, and if you guys would like to support the channel, the best ways to do that are through Patreon for exclusive videos, or if you want to make a donation, the PayPal is in the description. But let's see what she has to say. That'll tell me a lot. I just need to understand like what's going on here and why he's doing what he's doing and why I'm doing what I'm doing and like I just want to understand it. Yeah, that like ever so innocent attempt to understand like the desire to just make sense of it all. It's a fucking control seeking maneuver. We and, and you know what? It's attraction. Okay, you see because guys have been lied to. Guys have been lied to and they've been told, hey, if you make a woman anxious, if you do anything to upset a woman, you're a bad, you're a terrible, bad person. Okay. But women are obsessed, guys. They are just absolutely obsessed with trying to manipulate, trying to control things. And if, like I said before, guys, if they can control something, they get bored. And if they, you know, so like at the end of the day, guys, if you're going to make a change to yourself, don't make it because some woman tells you to. Okay. Make it because you want to do it. Okay, but before we keep cracking into the video, guys, today's Patreon question, um, a person wanted to know, why has dating gone downhill? So I'm going to throw out, you know, just there's many reasons, but one reason I'm going to throw out, and I want to see your guys' answers in the comments as well. One reason I'm going to throw out is because women actively encourage each other and society just, society and this whole, let's just say, womanist uh, movement, um, you know, everybody's encouraging women to go out and seek that chad you know you can do everything a man can and you know what the problem is guys when women give themselves to all of these different men no men end up wanting them you know who ends up wanting them the the guys who are just undesirable who have no self-respect the guys who want post-war women with you know two kids in tow um you know just gone through like a body count of at least a hundred um the like the type of men that will you know pick up the pieces for those women um are men that they don't want so they'll use those men you see at the end of the day when their time runs up it's always woe is me and they start crying they break down and that you know they need to find that beta guy they need to find that guy to supplement their life okay but before you keep cracking into the video guys leave your comment i do want to see them and let's continue want to understand all the moving pieces of this so that we can take this shit from like a question mark or an ellipsis to like a period or an exclamation point and it's not gonna happen up here but we tell guys i want to make a quick point about that turning the question mark or the ellipsis into an exclamation mark or a, a, a full stop i think what she's referring to there is you know uh t texting right because a lot of a lot of guys um guys be blunt in texts. I, guys, don't be texting women all day, having these conversations. Like, it's just absolutely stupid, right? Um, you see, men are encouraged to get into conversations with long, uh, long form conversations with women. And all it does is like, it just, all you're doing is just validating, validating the woman, guys. She's just using you for attention. She'll, she'll message you at like 2am and she'll want to convince you that like, Oh, you know, you, she just needs help. She's really upset about this particular issue. Guys, don't be that shoulder to cry on. Don't be used. Don't be having conversations about who, what's your favorite type of plant, for God's sake. If you're messaging a girl, you know, you're still into dating, stuff like that. Only be talking to set dates, guys. And, and be don't be like, don't be over the top about it, okay? We're not sitting here having conversations about their stupid cats or like, no, no, no. It's not happening. You've slept with a guy for less. So I'm, hey... I'm not going to show you that level of commitment when I know that every guy is just uh, getting it for free, guys. Really. Let's continue. 
tell ourselves that it can. It's cute that we do that. And if you find yourself replaying events and going over details and obsessively looping on this person, you need to fucking interrupt yourself. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I was in a haze because I was doing this thing I do where I like try to control mentally this like situation that I have going on over here, but it's not actually like, it's just, it's just a pretend form of control that I give myself. It's not actually getting me anywhere. I'm trying to stop doing it. I'm sorry, were you in the middle of something? Guys, if you're sitting here and you're watching this video and you're thinking to yourself, hey, that reminds me of something. What it's reminding you of is a, a drug addict. <laughs> this is the behavior of a drug addict. And you know why? It's because women are addicted to this. Absolutely addicted. Guys, if they can't figure you out, they, they've got to sit down with the microscope. Oh, why didn't he say this to me? Why didn't he say that? Blah, 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 blah. And this is one of the reasons why, again, dating is going downhill, guys. Because let's just say you're in a long-term committed relationship. The, the girl just gets bored, guys. She knows what you're going to say. She knows what you're going to do. She knows what she can get away with. And over time, women press men so that over time they get away with more and more. Okay. And when they can just get away with stuff, they're bored. You see, they, they push men to have no, no respect for themselves. They'll, they'll be like, oh, baby, please do this for me. Just, you know, you just need to do this. I, help me with this. Do that. Blah, 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 blah. Concession after concession after concession. You need to change. You need to do this. Guys, do not listen to it. Like I said at the start of the video, only change yourself if it's something you want to do. If it's something you see value in doing. Don't be changing because of what some girl tells you to do, okay, guys? You just can't do... Don't do that to yourself, man. Just, just don't. You need to have that conversation with yourself. And the benefit of doing this, of interrupting yourself, not succumbing to the obsessive looping, is that you actually get some like space and distance between you and this whole situation. Because right now, it's like you're staring at it under a microscope and like trying to like understand all the little pieces and parts of it. But under a microscope, stuff just looks like squiggly lines and like weird colors. And you're like, that doesn't look like anything. But if you can take a step back, if you can go to the movies with your friend, if you can like stop talking about and thinking about it and journaling about it so much then what's gonna happen is you're gonna like zoom out a little bit and get this like larger perspective in this bird's eye view and you're gonna be like huh i suddenly see this a lot more clearly it's hard to see something clearly when guys i just want to make a point here uh, like in case you guys have lost frame of the video what she's explaining i don't blame you <laughs> um but what she's trying to explain here is how to let go of when he doesn't like or love you back <laughs> so <laughs> This is advice that she's giving, guys. This is this is advice. Guys, don't listen to dating advice from women, please. It doesn't work. Now, we've got all sorts of men's creators on this side of the internet that will tell you the same thing. Don't listen to da dating advice from women, guys. Just don't. <laughs> Videos like this, part of the reason why I find them so funny is because, like, and so sad at the same time, is this woman is giving advice to other women at the same time. Right? She's giving advice. This video has 413,000 views and the like to dislike ratio is like 98, 99%, right? So <laughs> girls should just like really not give each other dating advice. It's just absolutely terrible. It really is. When you're like up close and personal and like on top of it and it's happening in your mind, when you like step back, a lot more freedom and flexibility. You're going to feel much more better. You're ironically probably going to actually feel more in control. What? I know. You do not have to understand something to move on from it. You don't have to make sense of something in order to begin letting go of it. It can That's a that's a that's a flat out lie, guys. Girls cannot get over things that they haven't figured out. If there's like a dad that they've been seeing, right? And then like, you know, the Chad just either ditches her or, or whatever the case may be. She, the re she can't get over that guy. And part of the reason why she can't get over that guy is because she never figured him out. Girls have this, this compulsive need to make every... If, if a guy is like an enigma, it draws them in. You see, like the, the mysterious type, right? Like the, the type that they have to use their quote-unquote feminine intuition to figure out. Guys, if you're a guy who's just easy to figure out, you you know, like if a girl can... If a girl knows that she can get whatever validation she wants from you, if she knows that she can just twist you around her thumb, she's not interested. She's not interested. Right? Just, just absolutely not. And just be a weird mess. And you can be like, you know what? We're going to take a break from the microscope. Because my eyes are starting to hurt and I can't breathe. I'm hungry. Jesus, anybody got like a burger? You can step away from a mess, you can let it go. It'll always be there. You can go back to it whenever you want, but you don't have to focus on it right now. 
And when you can shift focus, that's freedom. Yeah, but here, before I wrap up the video here, guys, I, I just really want to drill that home. Guys, they cannot get over um, chads that they've had in the past. Okay, so when society is encouraging girls to have, you know, like, chase chad, go and do this, blah, blah, blah. You can, you can do all this if you want to. I mean, sure. Okay, cool. But don't expect, I've said this time and time again, boys, don't expect at the end to be able to come home and, f and find a guy who's like, to, to, for lack of a better word, a uh, high value, right? Because guys, guys are just not going to like, <sighs> we don't want girls who have given their soul to every guy. You see what I mean? Like guys, guys want a girl who like, I'll put it this way. Guys become more valued, more appreciated with scars. Okay. With winning battles. Girls don't. Okay. We're going to leave the video there, guys. There's one more thing I want to say on the way out. I want to say a huge uh, thank you to a few people. I'm going to pull up your names now for supporting the channel. Your names are Andrew, Timothy, Cade, Liam, and Elliot. I want to thank you guys for supporting the channel. And if you guys have liked today's video on your way out, be sure to comment what you think on today's Patreon uh, question. Subscribe on the way out if you're enjoying the videos. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so on the PayPal link in the description or the Patreon if you want to get some extra videos, make some video recommendations, stuff like that. But I will see you boys in the next one. Peace. Yo, boys, it's Taylor here. I just want to say thank you if you've made it to the end of the video. And if you've been enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe on your way out, join the Discord, and check out the Patreon link in the description. See you boys in the next one. In the gum and they're missing it more. Got that. Had to put myself together. We get my composure. Follow my heart. Alright. I used to ride in the back of the bus to my home.